and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for the return of Teemo Wayfinder. It's another viewer submitted deck here, another donation deck. Uh, this one is going to be going on the combo of Kinku Wayfinder, getting the, uh, the Ionia Allegiance, summon two one cost allies from your deck, and our only one cost ally being Teemo. And so whenever we play Kinku Wayfinder, if it hits, we put two Teemos into play. Uh, if you if y'all have been watching the stream for a long time, you may remember that this is this was definitely my favorite deck for a long time. I love playing Kinky Wayfinder and Teemo, um, and of course I had three Karmas at the top end. But nowadays we got Lee Sin. Ah, so we got a couple of Lee Sins in here um, as well. I've had like a cough recently, um, and I'm sorry about that. Uh, let's see. So yeah, we got plenty of Ionia spells and a lot of new Ionia spells, you know, like that we didn't have access to before. We got our dragon stuff, our retreats. Um, retreat's a nice one to protect Teemo, right? Because they're always trying to kill Teemo and you can use retreat to help protect it. That's pretty nice. I like that. Um, and you know, our deep meditations help us get our card draw on. Dawn and Dusk will be for copying Teemo and getting even more Teemos in play. Uh, I guess sometimes we could use it on these other champions, but we're going to hopefully be using it on Teemo all the time. And one thing, I've, I really like Chumpwump with Lee Sin. That's also amazing, because Lee Sin, you need, you need to be able to play cheap burst speed spells, um, like when you have like a leveled up Lee Sin, and that's what Chumpwump gives you, is it gives you those Mushroom Clouds for the Lee Sin. You can also have the Mushroom Clouds after an Enlightened Karma and give them 10 Puff Caps, so that's pretty nice. Um, all right, Luigi did the change of the pet. What, what pet would you like to, me to use for this one? And then of course, you know, we have like the health potions in here too. One thing, just kind of looking at the deck, um, right away is I am skeptical. Thermogenic beam is going to be better than mystic shot. Like there's no mystic shot in here. I feel like the fast spell of mystic shot would be better than thermogenic beam, especially mystic shot with karma is awesome. It can help us finish out games with puff caps and things like that. So I'm pretty skeptical there, but I'm going to play the deck as is, of course. I always like to do that. Um, so Vinny just, just did the change of the pet. Okay. Just clicked the sparkly thing. But you like Gloomtooth? All right, let's go with Gloomtooth. Here we go. Let's go play five games over in ranked. Let's do that. Say Ma, you have a Poro donation deck? It for next meme tier Monday, you got a Poro deck. I'm gonna write it down. No Timo, Karma Ash. Hawk, best card in the game. Poro. Alright, write that down. So this card is good against Teemo, and I don't like that. It's too late for you. But I also wanted to keep Thermogenic Beam for like Ash. That thing gets to kill my Teemos. So do I not go Wayfinder? Do I try to set up other stuff? Like, do I just set up like Eye of the Dragon, Claw of the Dragon, that kind of thing? I 
Maybe I don't go Teemo's because of this Ramping Wolf. I'm gonna play this. All right, well, if I would have gone Wayfinder, we would have missed. Not and ready. They cannot hide. Hmm. I will play my part. Troop of Elnux. Yes. No, we drew another Teemo. Alright, we're gonna have to champion spell, put that back. So we'll go block in. I don't know, block in here. We'll just trade that thing off. I guess we'll go here. And then uh, retreat, put Timo back in hand. Triple Teemo. Prepare for anything. Triple Teemo, let's go. Triple Teemo. I'd much rather these Thermogenic Beams be Mystic Shots still, by the way. Eyes open. Want the yes. No, Teemo was dying because I had zero power. This kills this kills through a barrier with zero power. They cannot hide. So we need to save Teemo. Alright, and then that one will level him up. Because we cast this champion spell earlier. So now we'll give them 28 because they drew the one earlier, so they're at 14 times 2 instead of 15 times 2. That's Teemo Wayfinder. Oh no, they didn't even draw a Pupcap. I gotta somehow protect these Teemos and hit them again. Then we can, you know, double, triple. I will oh, no. unite the Frail Yard. Why can't this just be Mystic Shot? Let's Mystic Shot that thing. Get him, Teemo. We don't have any more Teemos in the deck, unfortunately. We don't get to Wayfinder and put more Teemos into play. That would be incredible. 
but that's not how it works. Alright, go scout ahead. How do they- they missed a puff cap again? No, not harsh wind. My aim is true. Okay, well now this is bad. This is now real bad, because uh crystal arrow. I mean I guess I just I just have to kill Ash, don't I? I, I could kill Ash in response to Crystal Arrow. I got 56 puff caps. I will not hold back. I drew one. Eight. That's two. I guess they just replay it, don't they? Yeah, I guess I'm dead. Okay, that was big. Concussive Palm. That's big. Keep Ash from attacking and Frostbiting another thing. So now we could have two blockers. That Concussive Palm was big. Go down to one. One's not zero. One's not zero. All right, where's the, these puff caps at? Come on, six puff caps. Three of them. Get more Timos. Many past lives in a single soul. Go more Timos because that this gives uh Conflict is that gives Challenger lives. to uh, Lee Sin, which that's important for Lee Sin to have Challenger. Oh no, they had Winter's Breath. No. That was the only card that defeated me. That was it. That was the only one. Yeah, I got punished. I thought that... Like, basically, I was worried more about Harsh Winds, right? Like, if I just go straight to attacks, I thought Harsh Winds was really common. Is like, a really common card. And that like we like that we just don't kill them through harsh winds, because harsh winds is is uh, very common. And 
And yeah, like we just don't don't kill him through that. So I thought it was safer to try to get more of those in play, and then uh, you know if they have like Will of Ionia or de or deny, that's okay. We still gave the challenger to the Lee Sin, so like basically made them force them to answer those and also answer the Lee Sin as well. But. That was that was the one that was the one card that defeated me was Winter's Breath. And they had it. So GG. Uh let's see. Looks pretty decent. Looks pretty decent. I'm gonna try this. Yeah, might have generated the Winner's Breath with Karma. Yeah, might have. Yeah, and have, having the... It would have been tough to kill them with just the straight-up attack with them having the health potion also. It, I, pull the strings. I, I don't really regret regret that. We got five Teemos in play. I mean, how, how can I regret, regret that? Everything costs four mana. Yeah, Winter's Winter's Breath is definitely a one of in the deck. Um, Karma Ash definitely plays one Winter's Breath. But they had it. Yeah, I guess this is what I'm gonna do. I wanted to retreat the tail, like the tail of the dragon. Like that's what I wanted to use with the retreat. Um, but I, I think this is just what we do. Basically, get to keep all the spell mana and get that three two in play. Oh, sorry. Wait on me. I'm my bad. My bad opponent. I forgot that was burst. Grasping claws. No, Karma Ash isn't that that big of a thing. But it, yeah, it's fun to play. I I like playing it. Uh, Winter Karma is what I call it. That's right. it's, it's a fun one to play. Winter Karma. Can't block with either of these. It's either go Concussive Palm or Wayfinder. I'm gonna go Wayfinder. Everyone here? Let's go. Double Teemo. The real question is what to do this next turn. We'll kind of see what they do. If I should just be going straight to attacks 
or if I should try Chump Wump, create two Mushroom Clouds, cast the Mushroom Clouds, give them 10 Puff Caps of the Mushroom Clouds, then this is 15, then this one gives them 30. So it's either like, that's the difference between them having 10 or 30 Puff Caps. So that's a pretty big difference as far as differences are concerned. I'm going to do that because I, I do want the Teemos to be 2 twos, right? So, like, Spiderling doesn't kill Teemo. Come on, man. Why you got to be doing that? Frenzied Skitter. The other thing about that is the two spells, you know, we get the draggling. Breathe in, breathe out. I'll handle this myself. What a rare treat! The hand of Noxus! All right, gonna bounce Elise so these things don't have Fearsome and Challenger. And then we'll stun Darius. We're good this combat step. I don't know if we'll be good for continual combat steps. They're not gonna give me the, my three two. They're gonna say my I have too many things in play, so they don't give me the three two. So that'd be unfortunate. But I mean that's just how it is. I'd rather not die than not get a three two. Not dying is good. No 3-2, but we didn't die. So, you know, plus. What is you with Teemos.
Could play the Eye of the Dragon first and then that. But we don't really we just don't really have room for like more draglings and everything. Wow. A jerk move. And they still have they still have mana for Elise. Dang. And they'd never draw any puff caps either. And I guess they drew one. is really good. A 2-mana 4-3 Challenger that gives Challenger and Fearsome to all your other stuff. 2-mana 4-3 Fearsome Challenger. This card's really good. In League of Legends, nobody likes Teemo. Teemo's so cool. And you feel the same way when you play Runeterra? No, Runeterra Teemo is awesome. Because Runeterra Teemo doesn't win very often. It's not, it's not like, that powerful. It's not that good. But it just has, like, some really cool randomization. And, like, this is good randomization. It's not too powerful. Randomization, that's pretty awesome when you win with Teemo. Yeah, we'll get him next time, Teemo. We had two Teemos on turn four, and we lived, and we had two attack steps with two Teemos, and neither of them got to do e any damage either time. That's sad. Yeah, I agree that the more spells could have more animations. Like, you said, like, Decimate could have a cool animation. The one that I'm the most sad about is Aurora Porealis. Like, that doesn't have a cool animation, and that is sad. Like, that, like if you're playing Aurora Porealis and you're playing Poros with that, you, you, you deserve a sweet animation for that. We played that yesterday, and there was no animation, and I was like, come on. Ugh. I don't feel like this is going to go good for us. I don't feel like this is going to go good for us. Fortune Quinn, they're going to be just be too aggressive. When you play Teemo, you want to play against Ionia. You want to play against slower Ionia decks. Not a lot of those running around these days, though. There's an Echo Cinematic I should watch. Okay, I'll check that out. An Echo Cinematic.
This is gonna be a long match. It's not it takes that much time to decide between anything. And maybe they're disconnected or something. Well, we didn't do anything. I'm not going to count that as a win. You know, like, we'll just we still only played two games. We're not just going to be like, yeah, our deck won that. That was definitely us winning. Yeah, League does have a lot of good lore. They have a they have a cool lore website. But it's it's shorter than I thought. Like the stories, you know. Like I checked, like the I think I checked out like the Tima one, and it was like real short. I think it's this universe.legallegends.com. It looked pretty cool. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Oh, uh, okay. Teemo is an old champion, and the old champions don't have lore. The new ones do. Oh, come on. Double sad. Lady Elise, where are you? Rain from a cloudless sky. Poor Timo. Did it move? I must get out of here. Spring does not pity winter. This is looking really bad for us. They definitely wanted to. Uh, <clears throat> they definitely wanted me to play something, and then they were going to do something else because, like, that's a really good attack for them. But they passed wanting me to do something, and I didn't have really anything good to do anyway. So I just went ahead and passed back. Yordles don't have good lore. Keep it the mushroom clouds because they are awesome with Lee Sin. Hmm. Yeah, I guess so. Just a 3 2. What? It dealt damage to the Claws of the Dragon still? Really? But it, like, targets. I guess it... What? Huh. I just don't want it I don't want them to keep turning on plunder easily. I guess it's the same target, I guess. That's weird, but it like change zones and everything. I was not expecting that, I can say. If I knew that's what was gonna happen, I would not have retreat used retreat there. Only I can endure the dragon's fury. We're nowhere close to leveling up Lee Sin, unfortunately.
Well, yeah, it's not it's not true. Old champions don't have lore. I guess I think I think what they meant to say is that like the old champions don't have very much lore. Not that they have zero lore. Theirs is just not expanded as much as the newer ones. I think that's that's the that's I think that's pretty nice. Okay, same. I never, I never knew that. So yeah, if you if target something with Mystic Shot and then you retreat and then return it, it'll still die to the Mystic Shot. Yeah, good to know. I did not know that. Zap Sprayfin was nice, gave them a spell, probably a Glimpse Beyond, and now they get to Glimpse Beyond, yep, now they get to level up the Rush. Probably should have just Thermogenic Beamed the Rush to begin with and not even worried about leasing it. Could have kept my... My puff caps. We burn, then kindle a new. Six out of seven. Tank meta was the worst thing ever. I don't even know what tank meta was. Okay, Wayfinder. Go grab some Teemos. We should, we should still have two Teemos in the deck. They probably have a bunch of Withering Whales, though. Could be setting up a Withering Whale. I guess it doesn't really matter when they have Zap Sprayfin, does it? I guess getting Teemos. I, I'd have the Challenger. I'd have to go like Wayfinder plus Health Potion. Get Challenger. Just seems like a lot. I'll just pass. Yeah, I mean, they could have Riptide Rex. Riptide Rex would kill us. It's not a bad one drop. Eyes 
Sure hope they don't have Withering Whale. Two Teemos down. Come on, let me hit you, Teemo. All right. Teemo connects. Gonna level up. Awesome. Still gonna have to deal with that Flea Feather Tracker. So yeah, both, both the Flea Feather Tracker and the Petty Officer entered the... Entered play at the same time. And so since they enter play at the same time, um, they see each other enter. And so that's why the tracker sees that card enter. I gotta keep Thresh from attacking, and now I gotta bounce the Feather Tracker. Can't let Teemo die, like, that's just not, not an option, right? Hey, Mama Man. I like I like going with this before bounce. I mean, I guess I probably could have done both of them at the same time. But I liked going. I liked getting the three-two blocker in. But yeah, maybe I should have stun tracker bounce thresh. I would have had to if I could cast. Yeah, if I I guess I probably could have cast them both at the same time. <clears throat> We couldn't let them attack with Thresh and put a champion into play. No. No, don't kill Teemo. Okay, good. We got to... Got to... Untap and have deny available. Silky mitts. Sorry, sorry, I've been uh, sorry, I've been busy lately. Haven't been able to watch. Been catching up on YouTube though. Man, that's that's still awesome. Thanks for catching up on YouTube. You are all good. All right, hit the sub goal. I've whipped up something special. Sub goal hive. All right, so we're going to give Lisa and Challenger. And I'm just going to cast this other one. Basically just put, you know, double a, double a bigger number. And then we attack. All right, so you're going to get challenged there. And I guess Thrash... Prepare yourself. Just bounces Thrash, and they have to spend mana to replay Thrash if they want to. Perfect deny. Let's go! Perfect deny. 
All right, they got 44 puff caps. Come on, draw some. All right, DWI, you redeem, change the pet. What would you like to, what pet would you like? Drew zero puff caps. Water is mine and mine alone. I really forget and never forgive. Why we respect what this gets the attack trigger also? Uh, I drew zero puff caps. Yeah, I like the Vi Lux deck. Um, the main improvement I talked about was uh, not not playing Secession and playing a Mage Seeker Persuader instead. That was the main thing that I wanted to change. Gonna try this. Dang. Let me draw zero puff caps the whole time. My only, I mean, I, I could have saved. I could have killed Lee Sin to save one life. Yeah, I could have, could have saved one life by blocking Gangplank with Lee Sin, and the Lee Sin dies. So I could have I could have been at two, and no Lee Sin. That was the only that was the most life I could be at. Which still, you know, beginning a turn, Gangplank makes a. makes one of those uh, powder kegs. They um, make a rain, but I guess with just one make a rain, they would have drawn one card. So maybe we would have won with the three puff caps. <sighs> this is gonna be tough being Sej Sejuani Callista. This metagame is just too aggressive. That game's too aggressive for us. No, we're we have the the records over here. No, we're we're 0 and 3. No, we have not won. Oh, was I supposed to change the pet to something? DWI re re redeemed to change the pet, but didn't tell me what pet to change. I guess I didn't change it. Come on, Timo. Get him. Get him. Yeah. Five puff caps. That's a start. My 
missed. Yeah, we didn't miss. Triple team O. Let's go. I want to go for it. I really want to go for it and play Dawn and Dusk. But they just have Vile Feast and it's completely blown out. Yeah, it's true. We should. We should wait. Get a leveled up Teemo first. I mean, I think we could have got him to, you know, 60 and then 120 this turn. Even though I don't know, them drawing more cards is kind of good for my puff caps, but no, I don't want them to draw yet. We know they have a Freljord card in hand, right? Because they're Wraith Caller Mist, so that's probably they who endure, right? Like that's probably the that's probably that card that they have in hand. Stay at 12. This is a very, very safe block by me. I am opening up room for Dawn and Dusk on Timo. Come on, please work. Tell me something good. All right, five Teemos. Five Teemos, let's go. <laughs> Get up. All right, come on. They have 896 puff caps. <laughs> they gotta draw three. Oh, I don't have my Teemo emote? That's why we're losing. I don't have my Teemo emote. That's why we're losing. Come on, 896. Let me draw. <laughs> 30. See, that's why Teemo is great. Doesn't work very often, but when it does work, it's hilarious. We need our Teemo emote. Uh, no, I was not Agathos.
All right. Can we can we beat Spooky Karma? Spooky Karma does a good job of killing one ones, right? Like they have their vile feast, they have their withering whales. We gotta play around those cards. I don't know, William's pretty good. This is super slow, but like these are powerful cards, the super slow. It's kind of okay to be slow in this matchup though. I want to draw Shadow Assassin. It's the card I want to draw. Beauty charms while claws take hold. Shadow Assassin. Grasping claws. You want to be a mod? Um, all right, what? What do you want? What, Cabo, what do you want this, this clip to be called? We'll add the clip as a command. Is not experience, and instinct is no substitute for planning. There you go. You can do exclamation point Timo. Did it move? And that will come up. We need Shadow Assassin. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Best card in the deck. The dark no, I don't want them to have Shadow Assassin. That's not cool. Wow, that's a fast pass. That was an immediate pass. So, most likely they have Thresh. They want me to play something else and they're going to Thresh. Um, so if I basically, what I'm saying, like, so if I deep meditation, uh, I don't have the mana to bounce thrash, but I do still have, I still have retreat and we can, whatever they challenge with thrash, we can, uh, put back in our hand with retreat. I don't even care if that thing's dead, though. I was hoping they were going to challenge Shadow Assassin. I really just don't care about Eye of the Dragon. I guess I probably should care about Eye of the Dragon. I don't know. Should I? Like, draglings don't matter one bit, do they? I can't imagine draglings matter at all. Like, not in the slightest. So playing Lee Sin means they can't play Karma. Like I said, they can't play Karma. Yeah, Dragling just level up Thresh. That's all they do. So 
I didn't even care to try to save that card. I'll follow your lead. So now I have ten cards. And for gotta play something. Play this Eye of the Dragon. But then if I play Eye of the Dragon, they can play Karma. I'm just burning a card. Sweet. That was great. That was the worst card in my deck. <laughs> so best card to burn. Follow your lead. Karma is going to be a problem. This karma is going to be a big problem. Not really close to leveling up Lee Sin. I need three more spells. Yeah, Deny used to be a three mana spell. So Leeson's at 4 out of 7 for leveling up. Keep on drawing all these units. I don't want these units. I want cheap spells. I want, like, Chumpwomp, not these things. Like, Chumpwomp gives me that. I mean, I can't complain about the Shadow Assassins. The problem with attacking with Shadow Assassins and trading off is it levels up Thresh quite a bit. Looks, looks like this is going to be a win for them. 
Karma is just going to take over. They have you know like karma with like withering whale. This is gonna be tough. Heart and mind as one. speaks through me. It's not bad. It's not bad. I could... We could go retreat. Uh, maybe we should retreat. Yeah, I'll retreat. A wise retreat. Totally retreat. Force is weakness without skill. And savagery without grace. Imagination is not experience. The dragon spirit awakens. Alright, got that eye of the dragon out of the hand. That's good. Level up Lee Sin, also good. things it's probably I don't know it's, it's like better for us to not have these claws of the dragons in play like it's kind of weird the claws of the dragons and eye of the dragon are just are actually negatives like like they're worse than you know they're worse than like because like they just take up room like we just don't want them taking up this room Kind of weird that they're just negatives that they're in our deck, and fortunately we've drawn like all of them. But we should—I think we're out of Eye of the Dragons now. I think, or at least we're uh, at least two are gone. These two have been obliterated. Oh yeah, no, because they challenged the other one. Good, so we can't draw Eye of the Dragon anymore. That's good. And now Claws of the Dragon. We only have like one more. Yeah, maybe it should just be a full attack. I do wish I had the mana to Dragon's Rage, Karma, and have Deny back up. Looks like they're going Ruination. It's probably worth a Deny. Don't, I don't get to have deny backup to try to kill Karma now. Ooh, our own Karma. That's spicy. Yeah, we have a lot of value, but so does the opponent. 
They do too. We've only taken out one Thresh. We have not taken out any Karmas. <laughs> yeah, we got one, one Karma in the deck, the three Teemos, and the two Lee Sin. So, drawing our champs. How they're thinking this long, it does make me think that they don't have protection for their karma. But I don't know. They thought about playing a spell during combat. I kind of feel like they have a Will of Ionia. Like, they, they thought about playing a spell during their combat. Okay, that is... That is saying I have another ruination, and I, I'm sad they have another ruination. I don't like that. That's what that play means. I have enough. They're just announcing I have another ruination. Um. Patience is underrated. I would like Karma in play before I play Key Guardian, so we draw two. We really need two Karmas. That's the thing about Karma, is you really need a second one, because you need that, that champion spell. That's what really makes Karma great, is the champion spell. Playing one Karma is pretty awkward. You have to have two Karmas to not mill. You, you can mill with one Karma. I guess I should have played my Karma first, shouldn't I? Would we have kicked the... Hmm. Would we have kicked the Nexus twice? Need them to kill these things. Soon they will soon, soon enough. Yep, there's a little Ionia. These mushroom clouds are going to be doubled because of karma. So I think I'm going to just give them uh, 20 puff caps right now. Oh, 
them being a slower deck, drawing a lot of cards. Having 20 puff caps. Those, those will add up. They're probably going to kill my karma. It kind of felt like they had grasped the undying. That's what it kind of felt like. Maybe I should have played one Teemo and then gone champion spell with the other one while I have Karma in play. Okay, there's the Withering Well. I'm glad I didn't go Teemo. Hey, Matthew. So, oh, is your pinky doing a lot better? I know, yeah, I know how you, you broke your pinky finger before. Is it doing good? You said it's the last day of physical therapy for you. It's getting there. Good. Good to hear. It would kind of be good for me to have these things die, right? So... So these, they do toss two cards to the bottom, which could get rid of puff caps, but like those are puff caps they're not gonna draw anyway. But that does, that does just lower the number of cards in their deck, which makes it more likely that I give them puff caps. Excuse right, so if we block, they have less cards in their deck, more likely we give them puff caps on each card. Let's see how many puff caps they get rid of. Wow, that thing had six puff caps? That one, the bottom card had six puff caps? Or I guess the bottom two cards. And those had none. Okay, so they got rid of six total puff caps. Okay, that's that's not bad, not bad. Oh, I should play Key Guardian here. Right? Draw two. It still feels like, like, remember how last turn we, we pegged them for having Ruination for how they played. So it's still kind of likely they have Ruination. So I don't want to just play Lee Sin out and have, like, Lee Sin to go with these other two champions. When it's, I still think they probably have that Ruination. Just because they played Karma doesn't mean they don't have Ruination. Just trying to help. They could have realized, like, you know, that I wasn't playing around the Ruination anymore. Like, I w like, they may just be resigned so they didn't, they weren't able to get full value out of it and just play Karma. Hmm. I still have one Teemo in the deck, I believe. Or Wayfinder. I got ways to find me 
Wow, don't I know? So 11 out of 20. I'm just not going to be able to hit him with his Teemo, am I? I'm not trying with Lee Sin at all. Maybe that's a mistake. I'm too focused on these puff caps. They do have 40 puff caps on 11 cards. Now we have a Teemo with a barrier. Can try to turn that into 80. Bears not as useful against leveled up karma. But we're trying. 80 puff caps on 11 cards. That starts getting pretty scary. can't be Grass the Undying, because if they had Grass the Undying, they would just play it, right? It wouldn't take them so long. Maybe it's something else. Darn. Start a with Discord, Colby. You just have to start to start like a voice call, and then after you start the voice call, then you can do. Then there's a share screen thing that comes up. It's real easy. So why did they wait for that? I think I think they were probably debating on maybe killing the Karma or killing Timo, like which one to kill. I think they were considering killing Karma instead. So I believe I have one more Teemo in the deck. Everyone here? Another day in the field. Oh, two Teemos. To be honest, I honestly meant to cast Lisa in there, but I kind of accidentally <laughs> played that. But I honestly meant to play Lisa in. And that's why I meant to play Lee Sin. <clears throat> I told y'all they had another ruination. Now they have to leave him. Master yourself. Master your enemy. Oh right, because the Karma Champion spell got me a second Teemo.
Don't have another one. I thought it was too risky to go dawn and dusk and not enough pay off for it. Don't have another karma. Don't have another karma. All right. No. <sighs> Concussive palm now or wait? There's just about four puff caps per card. They drew exactly that. Drew four. So they have third ruination. I'll at least have retreat, I suppose. Ugh. Let's not let them get those one one blockers. Oh, they tossed a ruination also? Oh, okay, I missed I missed what they tossed. I knew they cast two ruinations. If you stunned last turn, you could have had lethal. I mean, they, they have three cards. I mean, we don't... Yeah, there's an opportunity, like... But, you know, they were also at seven. So it wasn't even just lethal on the board because they were at seven. I mean... It's like, doing the stun right now could give us lethal also. You know, you can say it the either way. You could say stunning last turn or stunning now could give us lethal. Either way, you could. And looks like stunning now did. Demo. I thank you, Dragon. It's possible, like if I would have done the stun, you know, they had that vile feast in hand. It's possible if I would have done the stun last turn, then they would have vile feasted my three two, and killed it and gotten the two one ones to be able to block. Definitely possible. All right, two, three. Yeah, we came back. Came back. Got those puff caps going. Timo's just awesome. Um, Lee Sin looked good in this deck. This is the kind of deck that you could, you really wish you could have more than six champions. It'd be, it'd be nice to have two Karmas and two Lee Sins, and obviously you, you'd want to have like eight Timos if you could. <laughs> yeah. It, you want you want your wayfinders to keep getting more and more Timos. Uh, but pretty pretty sweet deck. I, you know, claws of the dragon and eye of the dragon just aren't really that impressive, especially eye of the dragon. But if you need to stay all Ionia, there's not really a better thing to be doing. You could try to go like more aggressive and go elusive style, um, but that's probably not. A better idea. So I guess I guess it's like the best that you got for the early turns there with the key guardian. I do think Mystic Shot probably would have been better than the Thermogenic Beam. 
we did kill a uh, thresh, a big thresh with a thermogenic beam. But there was a lot of times that I wanted it just to be a uh, mystic shot instead. But. Fun deck to play. It's always fun to play Kinku Wayfinder and Teemo together. Uh, it's definitely fun to play those together. <laughs> it's a long deck though. Oh man, hour and a half for five games. Wow. Long video here. All right, we'll end it there then. Those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there. Feel free to leave those comments as well. Um, but anyway, thank you so much for watching some Teemo Wayfinder, and I'll see you for the next video.